Welcome to our next tutorial of Mesh Surface for SOLIDWORKS. This tutorial we will go through the mesh selection and what it is for many reasons and for different tools we need to actually get part of the mesh that it's needed and that we want to focus on it in order to define a primitives or maybe fit surface or just extract information only from a particular part of the mesh. Also, this approach with the mesh selection can be used to uh, remove some of the areas that are not currently needed so the user can focus and uh, work in a specific area. The way it works is that you need to actually select the active mesh that it's important and then you go to the mesh selection mode. There are a couple of buttons here that you can use and I will just go through every one of them. So what is a mesh selection? It actually paints on the current mesh and changes the color of the triangles. The first and more powerful feature that we have is what we call the one selection or curvature based selection. And the way it works is actually you just click on the area and then the software automatically uses the curvature of this uh, region and extends the selection until its boundaries. This sensitivity can be controlled using the slider on your control panel and as you can see changing the sensitivity actually changes the area that you selected. To avoid uh, moving the mouse left and back to, to the scene if you hold a right click and hold your left mouse button while you move, you actually, as you can see, you change the sensitivity of the algorithm. So again, you need to hold control and hold the left mouse button and move up and down. So this is the first way of selecting um, triangles. I would like to say that at any point when you have something selected and you want to start Again, you can just uh, use the, the button which is called the select that will actually remove any selection that you have created so far. The other very useful uh, tool for marking triangles is what we have such called brush selection. The brush selection is just, as you see on the screen, there is a circle with a certain radius that you can just uh, move your mouse. And while you move your mouse, it actually paints all the triangles and, uh, which are in this uh, circle. You can change the brush size using the slider if you need to. So you can take um, correctly to mark your triangles. In some cases, if you select accidentally more of what you don't need, the way to unselect is by holding the shift key. So you hold the shift key and then you just do the same painting. So with the shift and left mouse button, you actually unselect the triangles which are uh, under your, in the, your area of interest. So these are quite powerful tools to mark and select triangles, but also we have two more, which one is called lasso selection and the rectangular selection. These are also quite easy to use, but I'll just before I continue, I want to, to say what is uh, this uh, option which is called select through and uh, which has an option on and off. If this option is turned off, which means as you can see in, in the icon only the front triangles, only the front facing triangles will be selected. So let's try and do some selection. You just click, then you click again and in such way you define your polygon and everything that is in this polygon will be selected. To finish your selection, you just double click with your left mouse button. If I just rotate now the, the object, you see that not everything is selected, but only the triangles that are facing to, uh, toward the user in the viewport, that they will be selected. Let's take another example. I'll just enable this option, select through, and then I just do the same operation, something like this. Double click to finish the selection. Let's rotate and you can see everything that it's in this um, area will be selected. The same thing applies for the rectangular selection. You just click once 
and then you hold your left mouse button while dragging to define your rectangle. So when you are ready, you just lift your left mouse button. And again, you hold your left mouse button, keep holding the left mouse button and moving your mouse to define the rectangle for selection. The unselecting applies in the same way. You just hold your shift key on your keyboard and you do the same. Hold your left mouse button and drag with the mouse and everything that is under will be unselected. There are a couple of more buttons here that I want to go through and uh, the first one is you just unselect everything. It removes any selection that is on the screen. Let's select uh, just a small area here. The second button is actually in some cases you may want to inverse the selection so by clicking this button it actually changes what the uh, triangle state is. If it's selected it becomes unselected and vice versa. The other buttons are dedicated for actually if you want to hide some of the triangles that are not needed at this stage. For example imagine that this is a huge scan and only the area that I selected is of our interest. I probably want to work something here and I don't need the rest. So these buttons will help me. The first button is called isolate. What isolate means that it will take the selected area, will leave these triangles visible and it will hide everything else. I will just press the button so you can see. What happened now is that uh, the software hide all the triangles that were not selected and left the triangles that are just for of my interest. At any point you can just come and just show hidden triangles if, you, um, if there are any. And this is the, the other button which is actually to hide what you selected. For example, I will just select this area and I will isolate it on the screen, but then I probably want to continue and hide even more of my areas so I can use my lasso selection like this one, for example, double click to finish. And now instead of isolating, because this is where I want to continue my work, I will just hide my triangles. When I'm ready, to move on to the next features, I'll just press OK. As you can see, the object stays on the screen with uh, its triangles hidden, and it will stay like this uh, as long as you want. Even if you save the file and when you load later, the mesh will appear like this. So at any point, if you want, instead of going to the mesh selection, you can just come and click on the um, entity in the SOLIDWORKS Features tree. And you can see there is an extra icon here which appears that will allow you instantly to just show all the triangles that are hidden. Or if I just have something selected like this one here and I press OK, as you can see the object stays with its selected triangles here on the screen. If you just click on the icon of our entity or if you just right click you'll see that you have an option also to deselect mesh triangles. This is useful to be in the context menu so you can quickly get uh, access to these buttons and restore the view of our object to its original state. So this is all about the mesh selection. We, we are ready to move to the next tutorial. Thank you for watching.